The next morning, Charlotte attended brunch at the home of Patty Aston, the ex-wife of a Hollywood television producer. If power lesbians represented Manhattan's chicest new social hive, Charlotte was about to meet their queen bee. Patty is such an amazing lady. She sits on the board of like a hundred charities, and now she's taking flying lessons. She's also got this gorgeous house in Telluride. We're all going there for Easter. You should come. I'd love to. She also has some very interesting art. <laughs> Diana the Huntress. I got her on sale. <laughs> Patty, this is Charlotte. A pleasure. I've heard so many wonderful things about you. Likewise. I was just telling Charlotte about your amazing house in Telluride. Sounds wonderful. I'm just gonna go get us some drinks. Champagne? Sure. Do you ski? Yes, but uh, not well. I guess I'm what you'd call a snow bunny. You know, I just kind of hop, hop, hop down the bunny trail. <laughs> yes, well, it's not a prerequisite, believe me. It's just wonderful to be out of the city and in the mountains. Absolutely. So, you should plan to join us the next time. I know Lydia would love it if you could. That's very generous of you, thank you. But before we all get on a plane together, there's something I think everyone wants to know. Are you gay? No. No, I'm not. But I do so enjoy the company of all these women. Everyone's so smart and funny, and <laughs> after spending way too much time and attention on men, it feels like such a safe, warm environment. And while sexually I feel that I am straight, there's a very powerful part of me that connects to the female spirit. Sweetheart, that's all very nice. But if you're not going to eat pussy, you're not a dyke. Later.